In this video, we'll cover the essential autopilot functions in the G1000 using the Bonanza G36. These procedures are almost identical in the G3000 and even in larger aircraft like commercial jets. The logic and button use are very similar. Let's go. Download our checklist at monkairlines.com. Link in the description. First, we'll set up a flight plan we can follow. I'll just use the easy direct to function for this example, but you can find videos on the channel explaining how to make flight plans. The flight plan to Copenhagen has been set and you can see that the magenta line has changed its course. We now have a direct line from our location to the destination. Before takeoff, it's a good idea to pre-configure the autopilot. We'll start by setting the target altitude using the ALT knob. The outer smaller knob adjusts the hundreds of feet, while the inner larger knob changes the thousands. I've now set the target altitude to 7,500 feet. Next, we'll use VS mode to set a climb rate. Press the VS button, then use the nose up button to set a positive rate. Let's say 500 feet per minute. Now, Let's set the heading bug by aligning it with the runway heading for departure. This way, if we need to manually activate heading mode after takeoff, we'll have an immediate reference to follow. Even if you're using nav mode, it's a good habit that improves situational awareness. Turn the HDG knob to move the heading bug manually, or press the HDG knob once to instantly sync it to the aircraft's current heading. I'll show you how to use heading mode a bit later. The last step before takeoff is to make sure the autopilot is set to follow GPS. If you don't see a magenta line on the map, press the CDI button until GPS is selected, like it is here. When airborne, press the AP button to activate the autopilot and the settings we pre-configured. The aircraft is now climbing at 500 feet per minute toward the target altitude of 7,500 feet. To have the aircraft follow the GPS route, the magenta line, press the nav button. We are now heading the right direction. If you want the aircraft to hold the current altitude, press the ALT button to activate altitude hold mode. The aircraft is now cruising at an altitude of 1,980 feet. Instead of using vertical speed VS mode, you can also use flight level change FLC mode to manage your climb or descent based on airspeed. Here, I'm pressing the FLC button located just below the VS button, and then using the nose up button to set the climb speed to 125 knots. Personally, I find FLC mode more useful in jets with auto throttles, since they can automatically adjust power to maintain the selected airspeed. We're now reaching the target altitude of 7,500 feet. Altitude hold mode automatically activates and keeps the aircraft at the selected altitude. I've disengaged the autopilot by pressing the AP button. Now I just want to show you what the Flight Director FD button does. It provides visual guidance cues on the display without engaging the autopilot. Let's try heading mode. First, I press the HDG knob to instantly align the heading bug with the aircraft's current heading. Then, I turn the knob to set it to 80 degrees. I activate the autopilot and press the HDG button so the aircraft follows the selected heading. With heading mode activated, I can simply turn the HDG knob and the aircraft will adjust its heading instantly. Let's press the nav button to go back to following the GPS and the magenta flight path. When it's time to descend, set your target altitude, reduce power slightly, and use VS mode or FLC mode to control your descent rate.
When you're on the final approach course, and if you've set an approach in your flight plan, you can use the autopilot's approach APR mode and glide slope to gently guide you down to the runway. Press the APR button, and the glide slope indicator will appear next to your altimeter. This mode captures both lateral and vertical guidance, allowing for a precise descent all the way to minimums. At around 500 feet, we disengage the autopilot and manually guide the aircraft down for landing. That's it. You've now learned the essentials of using the G1000 autopilot from takeoff to landing. When used correctly, this tool makes flying easier and more precise. Here at Monk Airlines, the mission is simple to deliver short, concise, and highly informative tutorials. We make learning easy and packed with useful insights. If there's anything in the videos that wasn't clear, feel free to drop a comment so we can improve. We have got plenty more waiting for you. Whether it's mastering another aircraft or uncovering more aviation secrets, the sky's the limit. Thank you for your time. You are cleared for takeoff.